magicians hit Grafton Street in Dublin to show off the diverse range of the dramatic art form and to mark a very important anniversary in the world of magic. Let's take a look through this magical world of performance. I've been a professional magician now for 30 years and I really enjoy what I do. It's a wonderful art form because it can encompass all age groups. Yes. You know, there's no barriers with, with magic. That's what I really love to do, and I love illusions, a bit like this thing here. Well, tell me about this, because we're celebrating an anniversary, correct? We are indeed, yes. yes. It's 50 years since a man called Robert Harbin invented this wonderful illusion. For years, magicians were sawing women in half, and uh, he decided, I wanted to go one better, and I want to saw a woman in three. You're going to show us this with uh, your assistant? That's right, with Ashling. Ladies and gentlemen, you welcome the lovely Ashling. Ashling, come this way. Lovely. Now, when I close this bottom door, you will see that Ashley will pop her foot out to the bottom. Would you just take her gently by the foot? Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna close the middle door here, and then she will place her hand out through here. Would you just feel and make sure yes. it's a real hand? Yep. There's a little trap door here. Do you wanna give her a tickle or tummy? Go on, tickle her. No, you won't, okay. Then we close the top door, and she put her hand out through here, and then your face. Now, I'm gonna ask you to swap places with me. Clearly the worst assistant when I didn't even know where to start. It's quite all right. Now, if I try and remove the center of this box, you will notice that Ashley's hand gets in the way, so we can't go any further. So could you take your hand in, please? Now when I try and move it a bit further, her backbone gets in the way, or breakfast, one or the other. So the only way to solve this, of course, oh, oh, no. is with these two solid blades. Here we go. One. You're really aggressive with those there, Pat. Two. She never felt a thing. I will now remove the center of the box, but I will need you to help. Okay. I need you to put your hands just here. Are we ready? One, two, three, push. <laughs> Would you just wave your hands through the middle there just to show it that there is nothing in there? There is absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ashley will take a little hand. She has a hold of a handkerchief. Look at them, the knives. I can tickle her tummy as well. Would you like to take your hand in, Ashley? I will now put you back to normal, which is quite difficult because she's never been normal. <laughs> so are we ready, dear? Okay, here we go. Back to normal, just like this. I'll pull out the bottom blade, pull out the top blade. Your hand will come back out to the little hole here, complete with my handkerchief. And there you go, if you take in your hands and feet, I will open the doors, and ladies and gentlemen, would you please show wow. your appreciation for the very beautiful and the lovely Ashling. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the greatest misconception of magic is people think it's all camera tricks. I only do what I can do live. I won't do anything else. It was awesome. That was amazing. You can learn the fundamentals in a reasonably short time, but like a musician, it takes years to get it perfected and to get the timing right on it and to make it work. Anybody can do a magic trick, but to make it into a performance, that's the thing that's a little bit more difficult. We've gathered a little bit of an audience. We have indeed, yeah. You're going to show me a trick. We need a gentleman. Can we have a, a gentleman from the audience? Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a bit of a round of applause? You are? Rob Casey. Rob Casey, okay, wonderful. Rob. Hi, Rob. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> this thing here, you'll see it's a solid blade, goes into the carrying case. If I can get both my hands to shake together at the same time, you'll see it goes in there. And of course, obviously, anything that gets in the hold could be slightly I'm not dead. really liking the way this is going now, yeah. Pat. Rob, could you stand on my left here for a moment, please? Because what I need you to do is, uh, first of all, would you... Oh, very good. Yeah, very sorry. Would you take that with your left hand, Rob? Very good, yeah. Now, I'll just hang on to this for a moment and put the clips up there. They are the safety devices, OK? No problem. Now, you have a spare hand. Would you just pop it in through there for me? And uh, would you do no. the same? <laughs> I will help you so, just in case you're worried. Okay, yeah, it just, it just goes in there. Very good. I want to make sure that if anything goes wrong, that um, these hands will not go rolling all around Grafton Street. <laughs> now, everything is fine as long as I don't take away these two no, clips. No, we won't be taking those away. And if I take away <laughs> those two <laughs> clips... Okay. Are you fairly attached to that hand? So, are you okay? Now, I'm hanging on to here, just no problem. Okay. Now, I can do this one of two ways. We can do it very fast or we can do it very slow. Which would you prefer? What I would do is I'd count to three. I'll go one, two, three. Well, I always do it on two. Okay, yeah. Right. See, I never, I never give you the opportunity to worry about it. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right.
Baby I'm just going to take off the top bit here. <laughs> and I ask you to let go of the handle if you don't mind, please. And yeah. I will take it down there because you will now see that the main thing about this is oh. that how it's actually gone straight through your arms all the way like that without feeling the pain. But that's the magic of it all. Ladies and gentlemen, could we have a big round of applause for our two lovely volunteers? <laughs>